Welcome to Spartan Design University where learning is easy and fun. Let's take a look now at another image inside of a figure. And this one's going to change its width based on whether it's on a tablet or phone or desktop. This one's going to be a picture of a car. Let's drag it in so it's available. Go to Dreamweaver. Go to our source code and this particular figure with a class of 100 existed above the H1. We're going to copy and paste this so it makes it faster. Put it below. Now this on a desktop, let's go look at our design document. On the desktop, this image is supposed to be 33% of the available space. Here it's supposed to be 50% of the available space and on a phone it's supposed to be 100% of the available space. So we've got three different things to worry about. Let's start with the name. Remember the name that I give it is the name related to how it's going to appear on the desktop. So it's going to be a 33% wide figure. And instead of a lake, it's going to be a car. Let's go ahead and save that. Hit refresh. And there's the car. Absolutely huge. We don't want that. So let's go back to our phone. So we have now got figure 100. We've got a new one called figure 33. Now on the phone, it's still going to be 100%. So let's take this and let's imitate the phone. There it is. Hit refresh. That image is 100% of the phone, which is fine. It's what it should be. When we bring this out, though, to the desktop, or sorry, the tablet version, this is supposed to be reduced. So let's copy that. We'll go to our tablet, find the images section, which we don't have yet. So we'll add a new section in here. There's our W33, but on the phone, sorry, on the tablet, it's supposed to be 50% of the available space. And we're not quite done. Let's see what that gives us. There it's 50%. And from our design documents, it's supposed to be to the right, and the text is supposed to float around it. So we're going to do float to the right. And that should push it over there. And now the text flows around it. Now we're to the desktop. That image is bigger than our design document called for. It's supposed to be 33% of the available space. So once again, we'll do a quick copy and paste. Go to our desktop. Here inside the images, it's still 33, but on the desktop, it's actually supposed to be 33. We already have a float to the right. We do not need to say that again. We simply need to change the width. We save it. We hit refresh, and now we have a 33% image here, a 50% image there, and a 100% image there. Adding the image. We want to put a figure caption underneath this. So let's go back to our source code, where we have the picture of the car. Once again, we use a new HTML5 tag called fig caption. We'll self-close it, and we'll say what I drive when I don't care. Hit refresh. There we've got a fake caption underneath it. Now we simply need to style it. We'll start style it starting with the phone. So there's our figure, figure, figure image, figure caption. We'll put the text in the center. We'll shrink the text down. We'll change the color and we'll set the padding. Save it. Hit refresh. There it moves it to the middle, changes the color a little bit. And then we want to put a border on this.
The border is going to go around the image and the figure caption, so it's tied to the figure. So this one has a border, it's one pixel, it's solid, and it's dark, sorry, light. Hit refresh. There's a border. There's a border there. And there's a border there. Now we still have this little bit of a problem. We got this blue color back here, which we don't want. So we're going to go to the container, sorry, the content, which currently has minimum width. We're just going to set background color of that to white. And I don't want an RGB value. I just want pound FFF. There we go. So there's one skinned. Here's our phone with our image caption. There it is there. Now, notice here I have this text almost touching the image. That's not very good. So starting with the tablet, actually, I don't want the image touching here either. Okay, So I want it to be in because it's content. So I'm going to go all the way back to phone. And I'm going to go to this figure W33. And I want space outside the line, so it's going to be margin, top and bottom, let's do 0.3 EM, and then 2%. Let's see what that gives us. So there we have a nice white space there, and, and Get wider. We've got space there and there. And we've got space there and there. Now you'll notice when we go back to the phone that the image is pushed off to the side. Okay? Why is that? Well, this statement up here, this Moz box border thing, says that when you set the size of something, it's always that size. And when you add margin, it's added to the outside. Well, here we've just gone. And we set the width of this at 100%. And then we've gone and added 2% to both sides. So that makes 104%. So in reality, this needs to be 96% on the phone. And now we have a margin on both sides. And to get a true 50% here with margin of 2 and 2, this needs to be 46 and the desktop, to get a true 33%, we need to subtract 4 and make it 29. Save that. Hit refresh. There's our 100%. There's our true 50% and our true 33%.